What I want to do today is connect our Sheets and Google Calendar apps so that whenever a new spreadsheet row is added to our Google Sheets app, an event will automatically be created in Google Calendar. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Sheets to trigger the creation of a Google Calendar event, I'll need to use Sheets as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Spreadsheet Row as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Sheets sees that a new row has been created, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Sheets, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to set up our trigger apps data. Select the spreadsheet and worksheet you'd like to use for your Zap and click continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click continue and we can start creating our action. Type in Google Calendar into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Create Detailed Event and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Google Calendar with Zapier, just like I did with my Sheets account. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. First, choose the calendar you'd like to use for your Zap. Next, under Summary, I'll click Event Name. Under Start Date and Time, I'll click Start Date and Start Time, and then under End Date and Time, I'll click End Date and End Time. And then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a new spreadsheet row is added to our Google Sheets app, an event will automatically be created in Google Calendar. I hope this was a helpful demo. If you want more instructions about setting up your favorite Zap, you can check out the blog listed on our Zapier website. Click the link in the description.